The following content is provided under Wisa Mechanism Group. Hi everyone, today we will be talking about the state response and we have a problem it asks us to find the state, uh, the state space representation so we have an, a differential equation and we have two conditions two state variables the first one says x1 equal y the second one says x2 equal y dot the first thing I would like to explain is the uh, difference between y double dot y dot and y y is the uh, displacement y double dot is the acceleration and y dot is the velocity while k is the spring constant c is damping and m is the mass as we know that i'm sure that everybody knows f equal m a and this case is y double dot which is the acceleration I just want to make sure that you guys understand that and right now we are gonna solve this problem but before we solve this problem we are trying to generate more equations so from this equation we can say that x1 dot equal to y dot from this equation we can say x 2 dot equal y double dot our goal is to make this equation in term of x so this equation will be as followed m y double dot is x2 dot plus c y dot is x1 dot or we can say that x1 dot equal x2 equal to y dot so we can say that c equal uh, I mean c y dot which is x2 and finally plus k y which is in this case x1 equal to you this is our equation this is the second equation the first equation which is in term of x which is x2 equal x1 dot so we have we have two equations right now we need to write the state space representation the state space represent, uh, representation will be in term of matrices so we'll go ahead and do that uh, right now we're done with this part so in term of matrices we will have the following x1 dot x2 dot equal since we have two equations I think I'm gonna leave that but I'm gonna write somewhere else which is x2 equal x1 dot so we go back to our matrices in here we will have x1 x2 plus this multiplied by u right now we will fill our matrices by using these two equations if we look at the first equation x1 dot x1 dot equal x2 right we don't have any x1 dot here and this space we have four spaces one two 
three, four. The first space refers to x1. And x1 in terms of x1 dot is zero. We cannot see any x1 dot in here that has a, a relation with x1. x1 dot in terms of x2 is one. As we can see in this equation, x1 dot equal x2, which is one. Which is one. For the second equation, x2 dot in term of x1, aha, uh -huh. that means we need to solve for x2 dot, which means that we are going to go ahead and solve for x2 dot. We are going to go ahead and solve for x2 dot. So x2 dot equal u divided by m minus k divided by m x1 minus finally c divided by m x2. Okay, so this is x2 dot in terms of this equation. Right now, we can see in terms of x1, we have negative k over m. x2 dot in terms of x1 is negative k over m. x2 dot in terms of x2, negative c over m. x1 dot, in terms of u, is nothing. x2 dot, in terms of u, is 1 over m. x1 dot, in terms of u, is nothing. x2 dot, in terms of u, is 1 over m. Sounds good. Right now, we generated our state space representation in terms of matrices. We can simplify this more, but I think this would be, this would do enough for everyone. And uh, we also can uh, solve uh, this equation in terms of y if you want. You're going to do the same steps. This is how you solve for state space representation. If you have any questions, let me know.